Hi everyone. Okay, I wanted to get a setup for chlorophyll prints today because it looks like maybe there's some sun. So I went outside and I picked some weeds. Um, these got two different kinds here. Uh, I don't know what these are going to grow into, but they were a good size. So I'm going to use those. And then I went ahead and printed off some of my images and a text piece here onto transparency. But these are positives, not negatives. So I'm going to use these. And then I have my handy dandy um, contact frame. So if you don't have a contact frame, it might be a little bit harder, but that's what I'm going to use. Now, to load these into the contact frame, you have to think about the fact that the sun's going to be coming in this way. So we want to do um, our positive first, that way. And then I'm going to use multiple leaves per image. We'll see how that turns out. You probably could use just the one if you found a big one. But I thought, well, this would be kind of creative. I chose images that had nature in them. Now I know that some of you aren't going to have contact print frames, and I feel like that might be necessary for this, but... We can just try and see what happens. It may not even work, but like we said before, leaves are light sensitive. So we're just gonna see what happens. So these are called chlorophyll prints. And these leaves were already flat. I mean, I just picked them. Um, but if you had a leaf that had some shape to it, maybe uh, along the stem, you might have to flatten it in a book. I tried that the other day to flatten a leaf in a book and then I forgot what book I put it in, so I had to start over today. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and then I'm gonna take it outside. Okay, so I've set it up here, it's kind of tipped towards the sun, um, maybe help us out a little bit. Here's Tebow. Um, we can kind of see here that because of the stem, I'm not getting, Tebow, oh my gosh, I'm not getting direct contact with the leaf, so that might make a difference. Um, but here we are, pretty good contact everywhere else. I'll try and come back and give you updates with Pebo. Okay, he doesn't want to be on the video. All right, everybody, we're back at it today. These, uh, the ones in the wood contact print frame, they were out for about three hours yesterday, but the sun wasn't as strong. Um, so I started them out today um, about 11.30, and I'll have to move them throughout the day. These could take 24 hours, uh, depending on the kind of sun. You know, it could take several weeks. Um, so hopefully we're gonna get something. I'm also trying, using this other frame, uh, the glass can, uh, can help with the moisture factor. So over here, I don't know if we can see how much detail we can see but we're starting to get some moisture build up in there, which can actually make the leaves uh, start to brown quicker. Uh, and some of that has to do with the black felt background. So I'm just using that nasty picture frame from before. You could also just use two pieces of glass and like binder clips or one piece of glass, one piece of cardboard, you know, whatever the backing for an old frame is and binder clips to kind of rig up a frame. The uh, stems continue to be a problem, so I'm still not getting direct contact uh, with that text because of the stem, but uh, I'm trying some different kinds of leaves that I found in the yard. I also went ahead, there's me, uh, it's my freshman year of high school. Um, I'm using um, smaller images, so I'm putting on single leaves. But I went ahead and tried some different ones. This is the same as the one we started yesterday, that weed. So I'm gonna see if uh, different leaves make a difference. Well, I know they do, but we'll see how. 
Um, I think that's it for right now. I'll uh, check back in as the sun moves and uh, we'll see if we are gonna get anything. When I printed these off, remember you're printing off positives um, unless you already have negatives printed off on transparency, but it's a positive to positive print because this is more like a bleaching process rather than converting silver salts. So there's no negative at work here. You're working um, with a positive. I think that's all of my reminders for today. I did increase the contrast on these a little bit too, so that should help. So, all right, we'll be back in touch. Okay, so we noticed yesterday that the leaves were turning brown, which means they have uh, died. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see if anything happened. There's a really good chance that nothing happened. Um, since the leaves are no longer green, that means the chlorophyll process, kind of the reaction to the sun is no longer happening. Oh, well, okay. Let's see here. Now we did print on multiple leaves, so I would have to like reconstruct it. We were getting something. Let's see here. But I'm also, Oh, check it out. I'm also getting impatient, so I decided I wanted to see what was happening and um, reuse these. Nothing on that one. Reuse these uh, negatives or positives, I guess they were. So we do see a little bit. Now these were out um, for about seven hours yesterday. Uh -oh. And good sun. Oh, look at that. It worked. So this was probably a total of maybe 10 hours if I had to guess. Um, and we did get something that's kind of exciting. Um, I'm gonna try and keep the leaves in order that I laid them down. Let's see. Okay. Are y'all seeing this? Not bad, not bad. So there we have it. I'm probably gonna try and scan this in as best I can. Maybe be better next time to be more strategic about where I place her face. But that, um, these were those weeds. I have no idea what weeds these are gonna turn into, but um, we got something surprisingly. Direct sun seven hours, maybe a couple of hours the day before, but when they turned brown, I decided to stop the process. Um, I've got those other smaller ones still working. They didn't get as much light, so I might wait and see if we get a little more sun in the next couple of days and use them again. But now I'm gonna go get a bigger single leaf I found and um, try and reprint this one and see if I can get even more detail. So it worked which is exciting. I didn't want to feel like a failure in front of all of you. So um, more to come. I'll give you updates on the other set uh, as soon as we have some more sun. Hi everyone. I um, put these back outside this morning to see if we could get some more sun since they didn't get any yesterday really. And they're starting to look kind of gnarly. So I'm gonna go inside and uh, just see what happened if anything. Um, but I wanted to leave you with this. These are the last two experimentations that uh, I'm gonna do, although you may have to wait for the results. So I uh, did some of my text pieces on transparency and found some big leaves. So I'm gonna let these sit out all day today since we've got sun and might not have any for the weekend, but that's where I'm gonna leave you. Okay, so like I said, these are starting to look pretty gross, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. Charlie, hush. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and see what happens. Please forgive my dog who's growling at the window. Her name is Charlie. She thinks she's a dachshund. She's not. Here's Biddy. She's been a really good helper for all this. Okay. Yeah, I think the 
these were left out too long. Um, I mean, there's some evidence in there, but we didn't make super good contact. And also, there's the real possibility that these leaves don't really work. Um, but we know we know that this leaf works because it worked on the other ones. It just uh, didn't really give us. Oh, I guess there's a little bit in there. So this is my my uh, school portrait from my freshman year of high school. So that's a keeper. Anyway, um, I'll post uh, images from the other ones that I started today, and I'll scan these in and see what we have. Uh, remember, the amount of sunlight makes a difference. The kind of leaves you're using make a difference. And these were higher contrast positives that I was hoping to have better response uh, with. So maybe I'll try these on some different leaves and see. Uh, for now, we just have this really funny uh, portrait of myself to be excited about. So uh, I'll be back in touch with a final uh, check-in and we'll see what everyone comes up with. Good luck, y'all.